So friends, welcome to Spark SQL video tutorials. In this ongoing Spark SQL or Databricks SQL video tutorials, previous sessions we covered on DML operations like insert, update, delete, and restore. And the pending one is merge. So what is merge? How to use merge? That we'll discuss. But before that, we'll understand one key concept is SCD, slowly changing dimension concept. So when it comes to any data warehousing project, data warehousing, primarily data modeling, data modeling, dimension modeling, star schema, snowflake schema will be there, nothing but dimension tables and fact tables. Dimension tables and fact tables. So whenever you get a change data from source, Whenever you are getting changed data from source, how you are going to manage in target table? How you are going to manage in target table? That is called slowly changed dimension. If any dimension data is getting changed at source, how you are going to manage in target? The concept will call it as SCD for dimension tables. So primarily divided into four parts. Type 0. Type 0 mainly for static tables. Every project will have a static tables will prepare data and will insert only that is called append or insert only so those kind of tables will call it as static tables no changes allowed just type 0 will prepare data and will insert the record that is type 0 type 1 requirement is table if table already having some data and whenever you are getting changed data how you are going to manage so that is called history history part are you going to manage history or no history no history means then it will update the data on existing table that is overwriting history whenever whenever any change in data comes from source will overwrite just that's all update if not available insert available update that is called type one no no if you are looking for to manage history then type two so type two whenever any change data comes from source it will add a new record it will add a new record okay let's so type one if you look at this example supplier this is a previous state supplier a ctr state and the latest information it is coming here different one so whenever you get a change the data from source will update will update when you are updating, what will happen? You cannot find the previous value, only latest value will get updated. That's all. So no history. You cannot find any history. Let's take a simple example. Consider, we'll take some customer information. Consider, we'll take a, ignore this data. Customer ID. Customer name. Customer location. So consider this is your source table, they are sending you the data, id1, location, ram, then Bangalore. And there is id2, location, person name, Raj, consider, like three customers are there. So consider when it comes to this is our source table and how you are going to manage this data in target table consider target table this is a target table okay so as it is if you are inserting data first time when you are inserting data if data is not available okay but next time again you got you got a another few records one record already is there but a different value you got like a Mumbai customer one already is there but uh, another customer is four okay and another customer is five and different location consider so when it comes to here now change the data is coming from source this is your target table this is your department dimension table this is your source table so if data already available in target but the same data you are getting from source with a customer id basis but a different location customer is a ram id is one but location is mumbai so how you are going to manage that so 
if i update as mumbai bangalore to mumbai then what is happening latest data it is going to update but old data you cannot find you cannot find the history so this two records it will insert because anyway these two records are not available so that is called scd type 1 scd type 1 concept is consider ram earlier he was in bangalore he moved to mumbai so mumbai is the latest one that's all you cannot find his previous location consider him again you got you got another same record from next time onwards again it is moved to chennai so now you'll update mumbai to chennai so you cannot find history here you cannot find history that is called scd type 1 so scd type 1 primary requirement is just managing latest data that's all scd type 1 is managing latest data you cannot find historical data so overwriting history no history no history retained so overwrite the data that's all only we'll update the latest information then if you are looking for history then we'll go with the type 2 type 2 requirement is whenever changes comes from source we'll insert a new record we'll manage old record we'll insert a new record we'll manage old record so you can find here the supplier id is same key is same and supplier code is same only the supplier state it is changed and uh, old value also you can see new value also you can see the new value which you can go with the version number basis start date end days basis or a status flag basis so version number latest version will be latest data or if you go with the start date end date if end date is null then that is the latest one if current status is active that is the latest one if supplier changes n number of times then n number of records will get managed in the table so that is called type 2 scd type 2 then what is scd type 3 scd type 3 is just managing history in another column managing history in another column so same table only you'll be managing history in another column with the additional column just look at this another example so we'll be having another new record new column current location and previous location so consider this is the latest data and when you are getting data ram so he is in chennai now consider you got a, you are getting data and he, he moved to bangalore consider now what we'll do we'll update this new value to this here but this value we will add we'll update here this is this called this is current location his previous location so only one time history if you are looking for no history if you are looking for no history then we can go with just tell type 0 so type 0 is just only append only append then type 1 so type 1 is upset upset is nothing but you can use a merge then you can find only latest data only latest data you can find only latest data and type 2 so type 2 you can find you can use upset say merge you can use and uh, historical data historical data so historical data means number of times which you can make the n number of times history here type 3 here also you can use absurd or merge only one time history only one time history so in that one time history history in new column history in another column and history in new row that is here so no history that is about so these are different types of scds scd type 1 only happen insert only type sorry type 0 insert only type 1 is absurd 
if any changes data coming from source then we just will update that that is called overwriting history no history and type 2 requirement is you can manage n number of times history as a new record if a customer changes 10 times 10 records will be there okay that is called history in a new row history in a new row then type 3 requirement is managing one time history only one time history in another column like this previous location current location so this way which we can go with implementing a slowly changing dimension on slowly changing dimension on data warehousing so that we will see with the practical session in another session so what is exactly a series type 0 how we will implement what is type 1 how we will implement type 2 how we will implement type 3 how we will implement that we will see in another session this is just establishing you some knowledge on what is exactly SCD slowly changing dimension then how we will implement using spark SQL that we will see in separate session okay hope this is clear and uh, let's continue on another we'll see in uh, the same thing in a practical session in another session thank you see you in another video